From war today to war 79 years ago. Also trending today is D-Day. The largest land, sea and air invasion ever attempted took place on this day in 1944. More than 150,000 Canadian, British and American troops stormed the shores of France and changed the course of the Second World War. Over 4,400 soldiers died that day on the beaches of Normandy, including 359 Canadians. Manisa Danabolin joins us now with more on this important day. Hey, Manisa. Hey, Kelly. The impact still resonates today. Many D-Day veterans returned to France to mark the 79th anniversary. Let's take a look. U.S. and British World War II veterans attended a D-Day ceremony at a beach in Normandy where troops landed in 1944. More than 150,000 Allied troops set off from the south coast of England to Normandy, where they began a military operation which ultimately led to the liberation of Western Europe from Nazi occupation. Almost exactly 11 months later, Germany surrendered on May 7, 1945. And one of the things we forget about the significance of D-Day is that if the, if the Allies had not landed in France, it's a really good chance that the Red Army, the Soviet Army, would have conquered all of Germany and maybe even gotten into France too. Um, and that was something that Allied planners were worried about as early as 1942. So D-Day was about beating Germany, but it was also about trying to keep Western Europe out of Soviet hands if the Soviets won the war. While it's important, I think, on D-Day, remember the national contributions of Canadians and Americans and British soldiers and, and Free French and other contingents. It's also really, D-Day represents one of the high points of remarkable uh, allied cooperation and forging of, a, of a, a unified command structure. <laughs> many veterans from D-Day left, since many of them were at least 18 years old at the time, today some of the survivors were honoured. You're a bit of a star, aren't you? Not me, not me. Uh, I think they got it all confused. Uh, the stars are all these guys that, that put their life on the line. Putting your hands in a glove there. For me to come through. I, I, I'm a survivor of D-Day. I, I'm not the, I'm not the actual hero. Thousands who died decades ago were remembered. Every D-Day, citizen by citizen, we remember that we each have the ability and the responsibility to fight for the principles that drove the Allied armies forward. During today's ceremony, reenactors told the story of D-Day at the beach in Normandy. Many say the location still has a powerful impact almost 80 years later. For one thing, there are uh, the cemeteries, the Allied cemeteries that, you know, you can just see the toll of what D-Day meant, but also to stand on the cliffs, the Normandy cliffs, and look out over the beach onto the, uh, the um, English Channel and imagine being a defender there. In a post, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau wrote, Today we remember the thousands of Canadian troops who stormed the beaches of Normandy, and we honour their service and their sacrifice. Next year, on the 80th anniversary of D-Day, world leaders are expected to take part in major commemorations to mark the invasion.